It's Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a project with you that I created using the brand new Photo Play Paper Crane Collection um, designed by Tracy Smith for Photo Play. It's just absolutely adorable. I saw this collection at Creativation in January and I thought it was adorable. So what I did was I created a mini album. I haven't made it a mini album for a while. I've been making folios. So here is the mini album that I made. This collection is just darling. <laughs> Um, the mini album does measure six and a half by six and a half, and the spine is two and a quarter inches. So what I did was I used the 12 by 12 collection kit. I used the layered 3D stickers. I used the ephemera dots, and I like these because they're a matte finish. And then I also used the chipboard stickers. As you can see, there's not many left. And then um, the 12 by 12 collection kit. And what I have left is one full sheet and then just a couple of smaller pieces. And then there's a few stickers because the sticker sheet does come with the collection kit. And I got all the products from the Button Farm Club. And I'll put a link to their store in the description box below. So again, I measure six and a half by six and a half. I used the stickers and put them on some black cardstock and just fussy cut around them and popped them up. I added some of the cute enamel dots. I did use a Spellbinders die um, and some solid teal colored cardstock to cut out the doily. And then I used a Lawn Fawn die for the little circle here with the dots on it. Uh, this is one of the chipboard elements. I popped it up and then the cute little girl here. And I added some clear Wink Estella to her hair and her little cheeks. <laughs> And then some more enamel dots. And then this is a cute little border sticker from the sticker sheet. And then I did double mat it. I put it the design paper and then I matted it on white cardstock just so it would pop off the black a little bit better. This is the spine. Love the floral print. And then here is the back. I used the floral print on the back as well. This is just a fun little collection and I haven't really seen anything like it. So I thought it was absolutely darling. So you open it up. It's pretty simple. It's just a pocket page mini album with some really cute uh, pullouts, but I think it showcases the collection really well. So I have a small little pocket here, and inside, again, I made some little fold-outs. This is another cute little uh, sticker that I mounted on white cardstock and then popped it up. There's a place for photos there, and there's the back. Again, just adorable, cute little sticker here, and this is one of the 3D stickers. And this is just a photo metal on the back. And then these are some of the cut aparts from the cut apart page. Super cute. I left them black on the back. And then right here, this is a little flap. This is one of the 4x6 cutouts with a great little quote on it. And you open it up and there's a place for a photo here. And then again, some more of the design paper. So those go back in there. Cute little girl. And so over here, this is page one. And I have the large little uh, chipboard paper crane right here. Another sticker that I popped up. Some more enamel dots. I used a Fiskars border punch. For this little edge right here and this is the pullout. I added the paper crane sticker here and then some design paper here and some design paper here and the cute little paper crane paper here. So you could put a photo here and journal here or you could put a photo here and journal here. There's lots of room for space. And then on the back of the page I made a belly band and I used the 3x4 cutouts and um, love the cute little koi fish. Some more chipboard elements. Cute little sushi bowl. It's just adorable. And then I used the same paper that was on the belly band on the back. So those just go right in there. Over here, again, this was a sticker that I die cut with an oval punch. It was already an oval, but it was kind of a wonky shaped oval and I wanted to use some layering uh, other dies to go with it. So I uh, re-trimmed it out with the oval die and then I just layered it on the scalloped oval and another oval. And then again, some more cute chipboard elements, some little tiny um, enamel dots. And then here's the cute little koi fish sticker. And here's this one. And the back is the cute little words. And over here, again, there's that cute little girl. I added a chipboard element to the front. Some more cute little enamel dots. And there's some cute little sushi paper. <laughs> cute little girls there. And then a place for two photos here. And there's the back. And I thought this was really cute. Little sticker says, sushi makes everything better. Cute little sushi sticker. And then the koi fish paper again and the floral print on the back.
I mean, this paper is so stinking cute. The pages do measure six and a quarter by six and a quarter, so you could use a six by six paper pad for this as well. Again, another one of the cute little uh, stickers I put right here on this random paper. Added some enamel dots here and another cute little three by four cutout. Some floral paper on the back and the floral paper here. Another chipboard element that says hope. Another chipboard floral element here. Some more cute little stickers from the sticker sheet. And there's this one. Cute little paper crane paper on the back. Love the floral print. I, I just liked all the papers in this. Even the sushi paper. I thought it was adorable. Again, another cute little 3 by 4 cutout. Another chipboard floral here. And some little enamel dots. Cute little um, cherry blossoms right there. Over here I have the paper grain stick. Paper crane sticker, it's really cute. Some a little chipboard flower and a sticker flower with some enamel dots, and then a cute little girl right here on a, off the sticker sheet, and then the cute little fan, and then the cherry blossom paper, and there's the fish again and the words. And on the back page again, another three by four cutout with a cute little chipboard element, some more three D layered stickers, and there's the paper crane paper. Just have some little glue right there. It's bugging me to get my little eraser out. And then there's the cute little fold out here. These will hold three by four photos, just so you know. And then over here again, I uh, made another little tiny pocket here with another 3D sticker here. It's got some cute glitter on the flowers. And then I stuffed a full of some little cutouts. This is a sticker that I put on some cardstock. Another cute little sticker. And I just made it a photo mat on the back. Another three by four card. Another cute little um, sticker here, a cute little fan, and another 3x4 card. So those go back in there. Love the little papers here. They're just so adorable. And that's the back. So there's five pages. So there you go, everybody. That's my little project that I created using the Photo Play paper crane collection and you can get this collection at the button farm club and i'll have the link in the description box so there you go everybody thanks for watching bye